Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft time lapse. Today I will be building this wintry build of a giant figure skater. Or maybe it's Minnie, since she will be skating on a giant snowflake. I'll let you decide. So to start this giant organic, I create a basic skeleton using a sphere brush just to get all the proportions right for the arms, legs, and the body, etc. But once I was somewhat satisfied with that, then I was able to start adding on the shape. And the only brush I really used for this was the blend ball brush. It did require a lot of reshaping and tweaking to get it to look like I wanted it to. By the time I got around to adding the head, I still had quite a few tweaks to make with the brush. This was my largest human organic I ever attempted, so I wanted to make sure it was as accurately proportioned as possible. And once I had the body mostly correct, then I went ahead and added the hands in, and I built those completely by hand because they are so small and detailed. Now the brush can only do so much, so I have to go through this entire build again by hand to make sure my smoothing is consistent. But now that we have the form done, we can add some basic coloring. And now let's move down and add the skates. These I did 100% by hand, just because they're a very precise shape, and all I had to do was create one skate before I copied it and rotated it for the other foot. Now we can start getting into all the details, and I'm going to start with her face and her hair, which will make flaring out a little bit since she is in the middle of a spin. To add the skirt onto her dress, I used a bunch of curves and the spline brush to get me started, but I did end up filling in a lot of it by hand as well just because the spline brush was very touchy and wasn't always working for me, but that's okay because I do get a little more precision when I do it by hand. Once I finished the shape of the skirt, I wanted to add a second layer, so I replaced above it a couple times to get the exact same shape, and then just altered it a little bit so that it looked like a separate layer. Now with both layers in place, I can finally color this dress. And since this is a wintry build, I wanted to keep it with a blue palette, so I just continued that dark blue color onto her skirt. I also gave her some sheer blue sleeves, and finally added some glitter or sequins all over her dress. Now we can move on to the giant snowflake that this skater will be skating on. This was probably my favorite part of this build. It was just a lot of fun because a snowflake could look like just about anything. So I just made a bunch of random patterns. I added extra depth by making them all layered to give it more of an icy look once it was finished. But once I created this one spoke of the snowflake, then all I had to do was rotate it six times to create the full shape. After rotating it though, I did realize there were still some large gaps in the middles, so I decided to add a second set of spokes in between those, this time with a different pattern. Anyway, I really loved how the snowflake turned out, and because I loved it so much, I just had to add a few more. So I decided to add a few flurries around the skater. I started this by making a larger snowflake and a few smaller ones, as well as some swirling flurries in the sky. This was a lot of fun to make, and just added a little extra bit of atmosphere to complete the build. It took me approximately 19 hours to build this, and I am really pleased with how it turned out. I hope you are too. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this wintry build of this figure skater. I had a lot of fun building it, and if you did like it, be sure to let me know by leaving a like or a comment below. That would really help me out. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and if you like what you see. Well, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you some other time.